Well, hello, this is Rochelle and welcome to my channel. So we're doing a bit of art today in our journaling Bibles. <laughs> well, actually, I'm not doing the art. My dear friend, uh, Henri Erasmus, who is painted lemons on all social platforms, um, has actually just launched her shop. And I am so excited for her. Um, she actually just started Bible journaling this year, but she's been arting for all her life. So she's a designer um, and has won a reality show, I suppose you could call it, uh, art competition called Kunstflate, which is just Afrikaans for arts and crafts. Um, and they had a show where the contestants were eliminated week on week, um, depending on their scores for a specific task or project that they were given for that week. Um, and she won the 2017 uh, Kunstflate uh, here in South Africa. So definitely not a newbie to art. Um, and so she started designing her own um, Bible journaling printables or faith journaling printables. And you can find these on her website, which is paintedlemons.com. Um, I love this. She calls them Bible babes. <laughs> and this is the first one, which is Eve. Uh, in the set, you get two, two girls, um, a blonde one and this darker haired one. Um, and yeah, my printer didn't work with me here and printed this beautiful background page in black and white on my very expensive clear sticker paper. <laughs> so uh, couldn't let it go to waste. So I decided to make that the soft background on that page over the gelatos that I had smeared um, and then stick her over on top of that. Um, so obviously she's Bible babe Eve. And so the verse that goes with this uh, Bible journaling kit is Genesis 3 verse 20 where it says the man called his wife's name Eve because she was the mother of all um, the living and uh, I'm just messing and trying to figure out how to put the printables so this really isn't any artwork on my side it's very much more um, just mm, laying down the printables which I want to encourage you you can do too. <laughs> it doesn't have to be elaborate art. You can use someone else's art as long as you spend the time in the, in the word. And you know, I relate so much with Eve because so often um, I, I think I know better than God. <laughs> I want to kind of, um, you know, consult with God regarding my opinion. <laughs> Tell him how I think it should have been done. Um, and so Eve kind of is, is a woman in the Bible that, you know, we like to blame her a lot, but uh, she's no different to, to the rest of us. Um, and so fussy cutting some of these elements. And then I decided to try my new gold Faber aqua uh, pencils from Faber Castell. And I am going to draw some leaves like I see them on the printable and, uh, you know, s try a little flower and just play <laughs> to my heart's content while I'm meditating on the word. Like I said, that's what's important in the end. Laying down some washi here before I grab my pencils. Um, these pencils are an aqua pencil, so they're a they're a water, so water soluble pencil. You can activate the pigment with water. Um, and so I'm just taking this Gold Faber Aqua Brush, which is a brush that has a cartridge with water. So you can fill the, the cartridge with water and then it comes out the brush automatically. So it doesn't need to be dipped in water. Um, and just drawing those leaves like I see them on the printable. Um, back to word wise, like I said, I very much identify with Eve. I very much want to, even though God has already given me everything, um, 
you know, I believe the lie sometimes where the devil tells me that I can be like God. <laughs> uh, little knowing that he said I was made in his image with his likeness and his form and his function. So I don't need to be anyone else than God, who God made me to be. Um, yeah, you'll see me use that aqua brush and lift up the color from that pencil directly. Uh, with this technique, you just need to be careful not to get the wood of the pencil wet because it will um, over time deteriorate the integrity of that wood. You know what wet wood looks like. Um, it swells and then it goes all brittle. So be, just be careful not to get too large an amount of water on there. There I'm just drawing some kind of a flower to look sort of like the pink flower there on the top with some leaves and some and a stem which ends up looking more like a lollipop. <laughs> but that's it for this page. Uh, you can create something with the printables too. Head on over, get the printable and uh, share with us what you did. See you soon.